Good morning. Welcome to Jesus Calling for August 16th. Meet me in early morning splendor. Let's look at the verses. They are Isaiah 40, 31 and Psalm 27, 4. Isaiah 40, 31. We all know that one. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. But we're going to back up a little bit. Isaiah, prophet from the Old Testament. And we are going to start with chapter 40 and we're in verse 28. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. And this next verse we all know and love. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and will not faint. I love this verse. Psalm 27, 4. One thing that I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. The last verse is in Philippians, and I really, really like this one. It's um, Philippians 4, 8, but of course, I'm going to back up a little bit, aren't I? We have exhortations that he's talking about here, and I'm going to start in verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And then moving on to verse 8. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice and the peace of God will be with you. Isn't that just a great list? Meet me in early morning splendor. I eagerly await you there. In the stillness of this holy time with me, I renew your strength and saturate you with peace. While others turn over for sleep or anxiously tune in to the latest news, you commune with me, the creator of the universe. I have awakened in your heart a strong desire to know me. This longing originated in me, though now it burns brightly in you. When you seek my face in response to my love call, both of us are blessed. Imagine that. We're blessing God by spending time with him. This is a deep mystery designed more for your enjoyment than your understanding. I am not a dour God who discourages pleasure. I delight in your enjoyment of everything that is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable. Think on these things and my light in you will shine brighter day by day. Isn't that a great list? I'm just going to read that one more time. I delight in your enjoyment of everything that is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable. Think on these things. So it's not that he wants to you know, kill all of our joy and just make life boring and just a bunch of rules. He wants us to be delighted in things, but things that are true and pure and noble and right and honorable. So today, really just think on those things. Think on things that delight God and they will delight you as well. And I hope you have a wonderful day. You can order your own Jesus Calling devotional book by going to JesusCalling.com. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.